Good morning guys. We're here in the hostel where we stayed for the last two weeks. Two weeks ago we left Tom and Alex and we took the time to catch up on our blog, catch up on our online work and really just relax, enjoy a bit the city of Almaty. Now today we're gonna do something a bit different. Today we're gonna go explore a canyon and a group of lakes near the Kyrgyz border known as Kolsai Lakes and a lake that is called Candy Lake. We're gonna go there with two couples that we met in the hostel, a French couple and a Spanish couple. And we're gonna have to drive about five hours from Almaty to get to the canyon. We're probably gonna sleep there tonight, that's the plan. And tomorrow, we're gonna head over to the lakes. This is the Spanish couple, Sergio and Cristina. And they're gonna be visiting the canyon with us. This is their car. Sergio and Cristina took two years to travel the world in their car. They transformed their whole car into a livable space with a bed, a kitchen. Hopefully one day we travel the same way. So we're riding with our friends from Paris, Max and Sibyl. And so far, what do you guys think about Kazakhstan? People are very, very welcoming. More than in any other country we have visited. We drove the whole afternoon while chatting away and enjoying the mountainous landscapes. We arrived at the canyon just before the night fell. We had to pay a small fee to enter the canyon and then we were ready to enjoy the beauty of the setting sun. So we just arrived in Charon Canyon. The mountains are like pink, reddish. So it's quarter past seven in the evening and it's already pitch black. But we just put up our tents and we're going to cook spaghetti, I think, tonight. An advantage of traveling with people who have a kitchen in their car is that we can eat a hot meal at night instead of our usual canned tuna. Good morning guys, I just got up and the canyon is wow, gorgeous in the sunrise, the canyon is right here behind us, Cynthia is still sleeping, the French couple is still sleeping, I'm here with Sergio at the moment, we're catching a couple of shots while the, the light is still good, sunrise, early morning light is the best. That's kind of light you get in the morning. Look at that, guys. For millions of years, wind and water sculpted Sharon's red sandstone to form the fantastic shapes and shadows that we can see today. This part of the canyon is called the Valley of Castles. We had a good breakfast and we're gonna go all together for a walk into the canyon itself at the very bottom. It's great to be with other travelers and share this moment with other travelers that have been traveling for a while and have their, their own stories and yeah, it's just great. Years ago when I was hitchhiking in the States, I had the chance to see the, the Grand Canyon, but very briefly, very quickly. This reminds me so much of the Grand Canyon. But now I have more time to fully appreciate the beauty of this canyon. So I'm really taking advantage of it. We have to be very careful how we walk here. So that's it guys, we're in the canyon now. We're at the bottom of it. It's an indescribable feeling to walk through a millennia old creation of nature. It makes us feel so small and insignificant as human beings, realizing that we're just a tiny part of an endless universe. So now next stop is Candy Lake. Well, we thought we were going to Candy Lake, but we mixed it up with the Kolsai Lakes. 
which turned out to be not bad at all. We're going further up in the mountains, so we might have a bit of snow over there. What do you think, Cynthia? Snow, no snow? So we just arrived at the first of the two lakes. They go by the name of Kol Sai Lakes. And uh, here we're in a mountain chain known as the Tian Shen Mountains. So we've been told that the, the other lake, the second lake, is eight kilometers from here. So it's getting a bit late. We're probably gonna cook here, come here tonight, around the first lake, and tomorrow morning very early. Uh, do an eight kilometer walk, see the second lake, and then an eight kilometer walk back. Uh, it's so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Canada, even though I haven't been there. This is a landscape I definitely did not expect in Kazakhstan. It was noticeable by the temperature that we were a lot higher up in the mountains. Camping outdoors is fun, but if you want to do it in temperatures below zero, be prepared. Got our winter gear on. The smell of campfire is one of my favorite smells in the world. It makes me feel grounded and connected to nature. And it satisfies our basic needs in life, comfort and warmth. And that night, we especially needed the warmth. The morning after, we realized how cold it was when we tried to get out of our sleeping bags. How did you sleep, Cynthia? More or less? More or less. Do you feel good now? Yeah, I'm okay. Show us the, the frost on the tent. Yeah. Yeah, that was a cold night. So this morning, we're walking to the second lake. And it's very good because the sun is already coming out, it's already warming up. So it's gonna be a lot better than it was last night. Looking forward to it, Cynthia? Yeah, I'm still waking up, I think. I'm still warming up, let's say it like this. <laughs> but you had your coffee already. Yeah, I had my coffee already. It's my feet. <laughs> This lake reminds me of the lakes that we have in Banff in Canada because it has the same color, it's the same tint of like turquoise and green. The walk led us around the first lake, along alpine meadows and into the forest where we even saw some snow. The second lake is at an altitude of 2250 meters, so we had to do a lot of steep climbing. But in the end, when we reached the second Kolsai Lake, it was so worth it. Kazakhstan just keeps surprising us. This trip proved that the country has a lot more to offer than just deserts and camels. Well, we can't wait to discover more hidden gems in the coming months. We saw some amazing places in the past few days, but this trip would not have been the same without our great travel companions. Thank you guys.